Day is one week away on November 11th. It honors veterans of all wars. Recently, archivist Bradley Reeves with the Archives of Appalachia shared some photos he was introduced to highlighting veterans in Knoxville during World War One. Here's Bradley with more. I'm an archivist that uh, works on digitally scanning motion picture film, audio recordings, and uh, photographs, lots of local photographs. And uh, it never ceases to surprise me what's coming in. I mean, in the course of uh, scanning, you know, I meet a lot of interesting people out there in the field, including a gentleman by the name of Ronnie Collins. And he shared with me a very, very rare book which I had never seen before. I thought, you know, I've seen it all. Never assume that you have seen it all. This thing, this is 100 years old. It's called Knox County and the World War. It was put out by the Knoxville Lithographicking Company in 1919 to commemorate all the Knoxvillians that were in World War I. It commemorates World War I in 1917, 1918, 1919. Uh, which coincidentally, uh, they were going through their own pandemic at the time. But what amazed me about this book was were the photographs in them. Just amazing pictures of our city, our people, a century ago. And um, it really displays, you know, how we had all come together to celebrate uh, our veterans when uh, they returned home, Armistice Day our soldiers, uh, the ladies of the Red Cross, the Angels of Mercy, they called them. Uh, the photographs really are a, a reflection of, of Knoxville 100 years ago. And they're just a pure joy to see. I'm surprised to see uh, the Fifth Avenue part of downtown, which has changed so much. It was more residential. There were homes. Uh, of course, Knoxville High School is still there. Um, that's where the parades in Knoxville usually started. So to be able to recognize a few of those buildings, but see the changes, uh, how suburbanization uh, claimed downtown Knoxville. I mean, it was a ghost town for many years. But if you look at some of these pictures of downtown Knoxville, they are astounding. That's a real city. There are thousands and thousands of people out there lining up Gay Street. And a lot of those buildings are still there, which is always great to see. And unfortunately, a lot of them are no longer there. You know, there was a lot of uh, demolition back in the 1970s. So it's interesting to see these buildings, these beautiful pieces of architecture that no longer exist. I would like to know who took these photos. I know Jim Thompson took three or four that are in the back. But back then, they had uh, Napple and Breakville Studios and McCoy Studios and uh, a lot of other forgotten people that... Uh, took these wonderful photographs. So that is uh, quite perplexing to me. But when people go to my Facebook page and they look at these and they make comments, um, it means a lot to me. And I learn a lot, in effect. 